Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation and this is Throne of Bone, an auto battler roguelike that I'm very excited to be checking out the demo for here today. In we shall go to see what Throne of Bone is all about. Here we go. Pick a character. It looks like we've got restore three health on whenever you level with the skeleton. Don't know what that necessarily means yet or starting with a random level of spell. I'll go with the one on the left. Why not? Defeat intruders to reclaim the parts of your kingdom. Fortune hunters have been raiding the crypt. Show them that their adventuring days are over. Well, hello. I steal hearts and treasure alike. Each team attacks until one side has been defeated. We have three health or three attack versus their three health. I can only assume. So we're going to be trading back and forth. Yes. Minions damage each other simultaneously. Fallen minions will re revive at the end of combat. Being undead has its benefits. So it does seem like it's very much in like the Hearthstone Battleground style of auto battler, which I think is a great call. I think there's a lot of auto battlers in this space that would absolutely be great single player or roguelikeified. So we've got ourselves a shop. Uh, one moment. All right. So what do we got? On combat start, I deal damage equal to my health to a random enemy. Who damage? What is over here? Give a skeleton plus one plus one permanently. Deal 10 damage to the lowest health enemy in the next combat. So this costs one. These cost two. I feel like we should probably go for a unit. Add my attack to the minion in front of me. When summon, learn a random level one spell. Oh no, I'm, I'm so into it already. Range. I will not take damage back when I attack. I feel like minions here will fight in combat. Frontline, backline, storage. Understood. All right, in we shall go. Tunes loot. Position will determine attack order. One, two, three, four. So yeah, I'm getting like storybook brawl vibes, RIP. Minions choose their own targets. Frontline minions protect backline minions. Good for me. Okay, I'm liking the little, the little means here. The goof. Okay. So we get both of those, right? It kind of they're in buttons. It kind of looked like we had to choose. Fresh material works best. Gourd head. Other minions in my row get plus one plus one. When it's dead or recycled, summon a broken sticky. Zero one broken sticky. Spirit Mage, whenever friendly spell triggers, I get an attack this combat. Increase your magic power by one. That's probably gonna be just magic damage. Can attack backline minions even if they have been protected. Grant a minion shield in the next combat. I don't know how much I care about like the on next combat ones right now, but I will do that and then I'll just grab one of these. I'll get other minions in my row get plus one, sure. That happened with uh, no pomp and circumstance. I mean, it's just a demo. Like, this is the time to mention that stuff. But yeah, like a little bit of... Just a little... Pzzoo, or like it glowing or something in some way. Like the number. Just so you can track that information better. I feel like that's where a lot of auto battlers need help. It's already... It's like already a weirdly tough genre to just go in and watch to an outsider. So like having that feedback is going to be always useful. So we attack here first. I think our targets are random. But I think we would hope it would be you. All right, you cannot can control the auto battle playback. Do three damage at the start. Oh, we get to choose. All right, well in that case, I mean, first of all, you're ranged, right? Yeah. Okay. Sneaky. I think we'll do this. We should have swapped those. I guess we didn't know what they were going with. We do get to win this, but it was closer than it needed to be. Crypt 4-4. Four, four. Okay, so, like, are we going to be going in and then this will reset after? One more combat before this chapter is cleared. Okay, it's not two to level up. It's three. Oh, that's why. Because because it's a, an ongoing effect. Understood. Looks like it's three to level up. Grant a minion shield the next combat. For three permanently buff a minion's health by... I mean, that's... Not going to work. Shielded. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. There's also clearly another little certain something over there that's 
cut off the first time this minion would be would take damage ignore it maybe that's my educated guess um in that case honestly maybe i will do this and then we can figure it out yeah okay cool that sounds good it does leave us with one on the bench can we uh oh good it gets plus one plus one okay so it's like we've got some super auto pets elements in here too which i think is good i think that there's a lot of like really good baseline simplistic stuff from super auto pets that's uh very helpful we can also readjust our placement Ooh. allies get plus one plus one i did not know that we'd be able to readjust that in the middle here so that went i mean that's fine that doesn't go great for us a minion will not attack again until all of their allies have attacked. It's fine. Worked out fine. Now the work begins. You've leveled up. Increased necro armor, and now tier 2 minions will appear in the shop. Damage dealt to you by enemies is reduced by this amount. Gotcha. Choose a new spell to learn. Death cycle. Whenever a minion dying... Whenever a minion dying triggers an ability, trigger it twice... At the end of your turn, deal one damage to a random enemy. Double damage death from poison. If the end of your turn is after every attack, that's really good. I have clearly no on death effects. I'm going to get this, or we can sacrifice that to gain a skull. Gang, this is good so far. I was not expecting much from Throne of Bone, believe it or not. But I am impressed. Okay, area reclaimed. My big question is, choose a row or column and perform those activities. Wait, what? Do we get to do all of them? Spend your, spend your armor to forge minion augments, recover health, or gain experience. Earn minion experience by sparring. So do we have to pick one? Transmute a spell into a higher level? Oh, we get to do we get to do both. Lose an armor to choose an augment. I'm I'm with it. The minion attacks first, regardless of their position. They have five health, but cannot attack. The first time a minion dies, resurrect it with one health. That would be really annoying for this guy, right? Like the first time it takes damage, ignore it, and then like just oh, that'd be really annoying for him in a good way for us. Five health, but can't attack is interesting. Attacks first regardless of position could be really good for this guy, especially if we go like, we swap their positions. Oh, this is tough. These are like actually good. This is a real testament to the game already that I'm, I'm faced with these choices and it's not just like, there's not a no brainer choice. I love that. I love that I actually have three equally valid options that I could go for. I'm going to try this out because I want to try and meme it. Gain three health. I'm going to go for... Is this max, max HP or current? I'll go for experience. With the enemies vanquished, you return to the castle's depths. Refine the skills of your loyal minions. After the fight, grant a minion one experience. Double if you win. Wait, what? These are my these are my minions? The hell, dude? Okay. So it is after every time we go, we fire that's so good. So he comes back. Does he have a shield? He doesn't. Grant a minion two experience. Do you not have that effect? Oh, it's up there. First time it dies, resurrect it with one health. But the same amount of attack. It also looks like it does not get the shielded back, which is kind of what I was hoping to abuse there. I will do this anyways. This minion has plus three health. It is shielded. It already is. <laughs> All right, throwing a bone. A dragon from the wilds is roosting your castle. Good luck with that. 
Oh, this area is larger, so there's more lanes in combat. Other minions have plus one health. So, like, the fact that I can... That makes him better. Neighboring related minions. So, if they share a subtype, they gain plus one, plus one. Do you? Zombie warrior. Nope. Okay. Apply three poison to the enemy behind my target. Whenever you do magic damage, I gain that much attack. Neighboring. Also, what's neighboring? Is neighboring just these? Because we actually could do a lot with this guy. I guess I could... No, wait. This is not the... Never mind. I think that's right. We want to leave him alive longest. We could also get one of these. Your other minions all have plus one health. That becomes so much better when we have a board this big. Probably should look at these. Give a minion sneaky in the next combat. Deal 10 health to those. Yeah, I don't feel like I want to go for those. It feels, it feels like a mistake to go for spells that are on next combat, right? Like, maybe if we know a boss fight's coming. Or something of that nature. So we block this first one. He's sneaky. Please, one damage over here. Yeah, see, this is really good. Okay. Something about the sound effects is feeling like it's leaving a little bit to be desired. But I also feel like, yeah, I think I, think I went wacky here. Wacky strong. Apply poison equal to the number of related minions to the highest health. So one poison. It's not bad. Whenever you summon a related minion, I gain one health permanently. There is obviously like some synergy there going for that kind of mushroom build. Combat start deal one damage to all units. That would be really bad with my shield guy. Skeletonize. Target minion becomes a skeleton. How many, um... How many marks can you put on somebody? I'm not sure. Like, I don't know that I want to necessarily skeletonize you. I'll skeletonize you, I guess. So yeah, you get it in addition. It's pretty good to have you going first, though. Which puts me in a weird spot because it's this is only related to one two one two this we get one two i guess we're only doing no we're doing one two three yeah him being a skeleton doesn't actually matter for, for me then <laughs> in that case neighboring related minions other minions in the row get plus one plus one i think i'm gonna grab that can i lock you I have to lock the entire shop. Gotcha. Shoot. I guess we're going to leave with the one extra, which is not great for us. Oh, well. When it dies, summon three 1-1 one, one scarabs. Ooh. This effect is going to be really good today, then. Today, as in this run. Whoop. Yeah, I don't know if it feels like there needs to be, like, slightly more impact. Maybe, like, I... And you know that this means something if I'm saying it. Maybe, like, a very gentle amount... Of, like, a gentle amount of potential screen shake or something. Wait, I thought I upgraded... No, I upgraded that one. That's right, saved it. Gain attack equal to the total health of other minions in my row is... Super interesting. Total health of other minions in my row. You should... Are you really going to get freaking an extra 14 attack? Can I sell you? I sell you for one. I should leave you at Synergize as well. Yeah, this is this is an awkward little puzzle for us though. I guess you don't fit that well. 
Nice, we're going to get the Bone Shaman upgrade. Add my attack and health to another minion on death this combat. These are actually, like, very interesting cards. Oh, what are you... You guys are just... Turn start, restore two health to allies other than Chanthers. What? Oh. Gain attack equal to the total health of other minions in my row. Edgelord. I just realized. Oh, that's so good. Please blast. Thank you. But why did we only get that much? I guess it didn't factor in the temporary boost. But yeah, we had like the nice clean burst damage. Means with zero attack, skip their action. This is a pretty good tutorial too. It's like not too handholdy at all. Increase your necro armor. Tier three minions show up. After three turns, give a friendly minion two four. After two ally minions. After three turns, give a friendly minion three two. We kind of have like a little bit more of a stall focused comp. That can't be permanent. If that's permanent, that's super broken. This minion is now ranged. I, I think I should do that. You choose this minion's target for attacks? That's really good too, but since you're so clearly my backline guy, I'm just gonna do that and smile. At the start of my turn, deal one damage to all enemies. At half health, I wake up. <laughs> turn start, I sleep. Okay. When he wakes up, what happens? Does he stop doing that? Now he just becomes a range thing. Give a friendly minion 2-4. Um, I should make it so you survive a hit. Oh, I'm a god! <laughs> Please let him go again. Please attack left. Ah, I am not the god. This guy's nasty. So, oh, I wanted to see what health he came back with. I really wanted to see what health he came back with. Word of your return is spread. The armies have arrived at your gates. Thank you for playing the Throne of Bone demo. Not now. The throne is too comfy. No! Actually not now. How dare you. I am going to play as the other character because I really like this. I want to see some of the other stuff. Combat start deal the damage. It's fine. <laughs> it only does one, but this is... Whenever a friendly spell triggers, I get an attack this combat. I see. Gotcha. So we get to choose the target, and then you go for an attack. But you have the three this time. Can we, um... Yeah, get off the tutorial tips. I do got you now. Guys, I really like this. Like, it, it feels like there's... There's such a small amount of games trying to do this in a single-player game. It also does look like there was a, um... Increase your magic power by one. I think we do that. It looked like there was potentially going to be a, um... Multiplayer mode, if you want. Okay, proceed. We definitely do the two damage to the back line. But the fact that we get a pick is really good. And this build feels like it's a completely different angle than the other one, for sure. Like, already. Whenever I kill, attack and kill an enemy, gain one attack permanently. Does this count as a spell? find out. It should. Okay. It does not. That is not a spell. That's called something else. That's why you test that stuff. That makes more sense. Oh my god. I just did this guy. I just did that. I just did that. I can't do that again. I mean, I can, but I just don't want to. 
I would rather grab this guy because it doesn't really... It's not necessarily a build. Anything permanent. I mean, we could just do this to... These are, I see these being a lot better now. Like, I get I get that. When summon, learn a random level 1 spell. So this is a spell. But I'm guessing... I guess level 1 spells aren't very good, is kind of the catch. Do 3 damage. I don't want the person who can do it for free without retaliation. See, that was, that was close. That was actually awkward close. Okay. Choose a spell. The first time one of your minions dies, resummon it, double the damage. Your minions gain attack equal to your magic powers. So, obviously, the build here. Free roll, re-roll, recover health, regain experience. So, we get to do all of them. Transmute a spell into one of a higher level. Interesting. Even those combined. Oh, just for, like, that's great. It just does it for uh, quality of life. It just is quicker. Transmute a spell into a higher level. Gotcha. Gotcha. So three damage every single turn is pretty, pretty good, though. Yikes. combat start give two health to a friendly minion combat it really is not that great recycles for double skulls so how much does so it recycles for exactly what you spend on it combat starts i deal damage equal to my health to a random enemy um which does scale on spell power so i will grab it when someone give another minion plus one plus one permanently i love that guy three poison all right. Yeah, the three turns to random. I feel like our three damage to random. It's very good. Give him an. Oh, we get a pick. Cool. Ow. Yeah, that's why I wanted to keep that guy alive. Shoot, because the magic power it, it is relevant. It is absolutely relevant. Okay, so we don't quite get a level up yet. Whenever a related minion takes damage, give it to attack. Reroll the shop to all mages. Yes. Yes! Alright, what do we got? So... Shoot. Double this minion's abilities. This minion's shielded. This minion has plus three health. I feel like shielded and then putting these guys up front is probably better. Kind of. Are you ranged? You're not ranged, is the thing. It's more important that their abilities stay alive. No! I didn't mean to do that. That was just a mistake. That's all that was. I was trying to do so the super auto pets thing where you hover over and then it pushes over. That's not a thing. That could be really... It could be a good thing to, uh, to do. Combat start. Two damage. Okay, that is pretty good. All right. Oh, it would have been so good for this, too. Give a minion to health. I mean, basically, right here, all we want to do is bring somebody... Uh, I'll, I'll keep you alive here. Should keep my back line cleaner as well. Perfect. So, yeah, some of the sound effects are much louder than others. Live, my children. Not for long. Yeah, we do pretty well against this. So, 
you're only protected if the person in front of you is there as well. That's another very important thing. Unlike um, Storybook Brawl or whatever. After you've dealt six damage, give a friendly minion shielded. That seems so potentially good. As much as it sounds fun that... Okay, that, that's what I was wanting. So there's no... Um, there's nothing past this. So is there, are we going to... Um, which turn are we on? Is this the turn we're on or is this the turn we're on? Which one does that mean? Wait, what? Oh, God. <sighs> okay. Well, that's annoying. That's on me. I, I, That is on me. Let's see if we can uh, do it without... Does it... When you say everything, you mean everything. Give a minion shield aid. Can I protect them? I beefed it. It's probably fine, actually. Huh. I should get rid of him for the boss. For the dragon, there's no point to have him. It's actually very, just very, very bad. Okay. Yeah, he's terrible for the dragon. But yeah, I am literally just down an entire turn, unfortunately. <laughs> Increase my magic power by one permanently. We could just do that twice. And then I'd have to buy one of these, though. It's probably fine. Uh, whenever a related minion dies. It doesn't even have to be in the row. So it's... We have a couple that are related minions. I don't know that we beat the dragon, though. If I'm going to be honest. Um, he's going to do one AoE damage to everybody. Wait. Shielded? No, we don't get to do the shielded. Yeah, there goes a couple. I've definitely dealt six damage. Why don't I get to do my effect again? Is it because that's broken? Oh, that only would do four damage. So, so this only can do... This can only happen once? I definitely did six damage more than one time. Honestly, that was a pretty close battle considering I literally skipped an entire turn, which is usually a death sentence in a game like this. Thrones too comfy. Uh, I really like it. I'm absolutely going to wish list. I do want to know. Oh, okay. That's kind of interesting. So you can, what you can do at the end of the run, you can copy your team, you paste it here, and you can paste it against another team and run them against each other. Oh, that's kind of funny. I, th that's a nice way of doing things. So, okay. I don't know if there's going to be multiplayer. I do not know if there's going to be multiplayer. And honestly, that's, I think that's fine. There's enough multiplayer. And also these, like, it's super tough to get these games to actually, like, survive <laughs> in a like because it ha would have to be a free play game and then you'd have to support a lot and then just like well how do you monetize it and then your storybook brawl and then you die um and then uh, that's the thing is i feel like a single player game you don't have those issues of course i really like this i can't wait for this this is so much of what i've been looking for in an auto battle of roguelike it really is kind of like that hearthstone hearthstone battlegrounds experience but you know, you don't have to be over there. Uh, and you get to play your own, like, single-player roguelike game at your own pace. It seems like the game does not skimp on letting you feel powerful. I, you know, it seems like it could be certainly challenging. Though, again, we did skip an entire turn, and we almost beat that boss anyways on that one. Very cool. I can't wait for this one. Very, very, very cool. Throne of Bone. I can't wait to see all the jokes, but alas... 
Uh, wish list this one. Link in the top description. My name is Retromation. Cover any games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. Especially, especially if you like auto battling roguelikes, this is probably the best channel out there for you to subscribe to. I promise I will not let you miss any genuinely good new auto battling roguelikes. Thank you, thank you. Like the video, comment on the video, all that stuff. If you would like more when this comes out, check out the channel. Like I said, Rogue likes and more every single day. If it's a genre you're into, it's a channel you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!